The moment that a parent kidnaps a child, the future for everyone is forever and irrevocably changed. So there are situations where the abducting parent was particularly abusive, psychologically terrorized the child, uh, physically or sexually abused the child. Just because you're with a parent doesn't mean that you're not being terrorized. It doesn't mean that you're not being traumatized, that you're safe, that you are healthy. He made me dress and act like a boy. Um, I, I was not allowed to play outside. I was not allowed to be a normal child. He was trying to treat me as an adult, that this was part of my decision and that sort of thing, saying that if I really wanted to go back, he'd take me back. But here he has me isolated in the wilderness with no access to any other people and completely dependent on him at that point. No, I did not go to school. I went, I went three days out of the entire school year. He was mentally abusive just during the whole duration. And then he became physically abusive to me as I got to be an older teenager. He was just an angry, violent, and now I can see psychotic ma man. And so my earliest memories are jaded. I mean, I still remember violence at a very early age. And he, he was very abusive, and his family was very abusive. I didn't think I was going to live. I was suicidal by the age of nine. I've gone through almost 11 years of therapy. I'd go into church and I would pray that God would just take me, that I wouldn't have to live through it anymore, that I wouldn't have to go through death. Maybe he would just come down and take me, but he didn't. I had a really horrible flashback and I realized that I was raped during my abduction. Look at my face. Look at me. This is not a victimless crime. The scars last forever and they keep affecting people and at times they can keep affecting future generations. Uh, it's not a one-time hurt, it's the beginning of a world of hurts.